Okay, today's lesson is on Emacs coordinate geometry. So, first of all, I need to let you know what's the purpose of learning coordinate geometry. Okay, the purpose of learning coordinate geometry, right, is so that it's easier for you to find the location in a navigation system. Huh? Let's say your aircraft, your shipping, your boat, let's say travel, right? So they all, every time they'll talk about the coordinates, the X and Y coordinates, let's say you have X and Y axis, right? So this point here, what is the location? This point here would be 2, 2. Why is it 2, 2? Because if this is the origin, So this is two, this is two. So this point X here is two, two. So they assign values so that you know the exact location of where you are. So that's the purpose of learning coordinate geometry. And it's useful for, for navigation purposes in aircraft and in shipping. Okay, uh, that's the reason why we learn coordinate geometry, uh, one of the reasons. Mm. Okay, then <clears throat> today, right, we're going to talk about, I'm going to derive the formula, right, of finding the length. Let's say I have the x, y axis here. This is the origin. So I'm going to find the length of this, the length of this line called AB. Okay, the coordinates of A, right? Let, let's call it X2, Y2. The coordinates of B, let's call it X1, Y1. Probably I'll name this as A, this as B. So the length of this line AB, right? Is given by square root of X1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square. Okay, that's the formula you're asked to remember. But you know, by in, in max, right, I, I don't like to ask students to blindly memorize the formula. So today I'm going to explain to you why the length of AB is given by x1 square root of x1 minus x2 bracket square plus y1 minus y2 bracket square. So you're ready, yeah? Mm. Okay, if you're ready, I'm going to show you. Okay, this is my right angle here. So you can see that this is the right angle triangle, right? Okay, this is a right angle triangle. Do you agree that the length, let, let's call this point C. Do you agree that the length of AC is equal to Y1 minus Y2? Yeah. Agree, right? Mm. Likewise, the length of BC, the length of BC is X1 minus X2. Agree, right? Mm. Yeah. So by Pythagoras theorem, right, you will know that in a right angle triangle, your length of BC square plus length of AC square 
is equal to length of AB square. Okay, you learn in your set two, Pythagoras theorem, right? Okay, this Pythagoras theorem. <laughs> so remember Pythagoras theorem? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. So your AB square will then be equal to BC square. Your, your BC is X1 minus X2, right? Mm. Then your AC is Y1 minus Y2. And I square it. So your AB will then be equal to square root of this. Agree? Huh? Mm. Okay. Then, of course, you would say that when I square root, I have a negative component, right? Square root, you have a plus and minus, right? Mm. But because the length of AB, right, your AB is a length. Okay, your AB is a physical length. Therefore, a, B, the length of A, B, confirm is greater than zero. That's the reason why you omit. Hence, you omit negative. Negative part of A, B. Now, does that make sense? Yeah. That's the reason why the formula is like that. Okay, then you'll be thinking, right? Must it be always x1 minus x2 square? Can it be x2 minus x1 square and y2 minus y1 square? Can. <laughs> Can. The reason is because, right, <clears throat> if you use x2 minus x1 and you square it, right? <clears throat> the reason why you can use x2 minus x1, right, and or y2 minus y1, right, the reason is because, right, of the square. I'll give you an example. Huh? Okay, three. Maybe don't use three. Let's use five. Five minus two square, right? Is equal would be equal to two minus five square. Okay, they are the same. How come? Because negative, right? Negative three. When I square it, it's 9. So this is 3. Okay, 3, when I square it, it's 9. So this one is negative 3. When I square it, it's also 9. It's because of the magic of square. That's, and, and because of the magic of square, right? whether it's positive or negative, right? you, you will still get back the same answer. Therefore, you use x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2, right? Both are okay. Likewise for y2 minus y1 or y1 minus y2. That means the sequence is okay. You just need to be careful, right? If you use x2 minus x1 down here, right? you must use y2 minus y1 down here. You cannot use y1 minus y2. Okay. Okay, let, let's say I assign coordinates now. Okay, you got to assign coordinates now. Right? Let's say my B right is 2, 2. Okay, the point 2, 2. A probably is 4, 4, example. So if I have to use 2, 2 and 4, 4, right? Probably don't use 4, 4. Let me use 4, 3 would be clearer. Let me see. Let me use a bigger number, 7, 8. 
And this one I use two, three. Okay, different numbers uh, so that it's clearer. Okay, let's say this coordinate is two, three. This coordinate is seven, eight, right? So your length of AB, there are two ways to calculate it. Length of AB will be difference in X. Difference in X will be seven minus two square. So if I use seven minus two, right? You have to use eight minus three. So this one you will end up with seven minus two is five, five squared is 25. Eight minus three is five, five squared is 25. Square root 15. Okay, square root 50 is five root two. Okay, square root 50 is five root two. Mm. How do I get five root two within split second? I didn't use calculator. Uh. <laughs> Maybe I share with you a technique. Uh. How I get five root two within split second. Okay, because this is square root, right? <clears throat> I'm going to disassemble my 50, right? Into components of numbers, right? That can be square. So the first number I can think of is 25. So square root of 25 is five. So that's how I get five root two instantly. Okay. Okay. So that's the length of AB. So this one I use A minus B. Yeah. Okay, now let's use B minus A. So if I do use B minus A, right? Three minus x squared. Square root of 52 minus seven is minus five. Okay, minus five squared is 25. 25 plus 25 is 50. So you have five root two also. So you use two minus seven or seven minus two, both are okay. Because of the power of square. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll learn something now. Mm. This is how you find length in coordinate geometry. Mm. Length of two points. Uh, basically the length of the line. Okay, let's do some example. I'm going to create <laughs> some examples. Okay, given that, coordinates of points A and B Maybe I don't use point A and B, point P and Q. Okay, the coordinates of point P and Q are minus three, one, and five minus six. Find the length of PQ. So how to find the length of PQ? Minus three uh, square root. Okay, then... let's do together. Okay, square root. Minus difference, three minus five. Difference in x coordinate. Square. Square. Plus or minus? Plus. Plus. Difference uh, in x coordinate. One minus and six. 
One minus minus six. Ah, difference in y coordinate. One minus minus six. Square. Okay. Minus three minus five is minus eight. Minus eight square is sixty four. One minus minus six is okay. seven. Seven square is forty nine. So 64 plus 49, you ask good friend calculator. Okay, 113. Square root of 113. 10.63 or 10.6. Three significant figure. Three significant figure is 10.6. Clear? Mm. <laughs> this one very easy. Okay, now another, another word example. Uh. Given that the coordinates of point P and Q Okay, P and Q are the coordinates of point P and Q is minus 2, 3 and minus 6, 1 respectively. Find the coordinates Find the coordinates of point R that lies on the y axis. Y axis such that such that PR is equal to QR. Hence, find the area the area of triangle PQR. PQR no P P R O. P R O where O is the origin. Okay, how, how to do this question? <laughs> Any idea? <laughs> Slightly more challenging, right? Mm. Not so straightforward now, are you? So you have coordinates of P and coordinates of Q. So my coordinates of P is minus two, three. Coordinates of Q is minus six, one. So they want you to find coordinates of R, right? And R lies on the y-axis. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, uh... Point R is if something y. that lies on the y axis, right? What was the x coordinate? X equals zero. Yes. If you lie on the y axis, that means your x is zero. So and the coordinate is two. Y is not two, y is just y, and you're supposed to find your y because they tell you PR equal to QR. Correct, the type PR is QR. Right? Yeah, but because it's three, <laughs> so they have to be split evenly. Hmm? Split evenly? How are things split evenly? Because the Y of P is three and the Q 
the y of q is 1. Ja, then? Is it 3 divided by 2? No. So let's find the length of PR first. So your length of PR, because it say PR is QR, right? Okay, length of PR equal to length of QR. So what's the length of PR? The length of PR would be Agree? Mm. How about length of QR? Length of QR. Agree? Mm. Okay, uh, since square root of this equals square root of this, right? That means I don't square root, they are still the same. <laughs> Agree? Yeah. Okay, then this one is minus two square, right? This four. You expand this is nine minus six y minus y square. Okay, eight plus y square. Yeah. Then this one is thirty six. Agree. Mm. The y square can remove, right? Yeah. Bring over minus six is plus six, right? So become four y. Mm. Agree, all? Mm. Minus six I bring over is plus six, right? Plus six, six minus two is four y. Right? So remember your four y is here. Right? Then it's four plus nine is 13. 13 minus 36 minus 1. Okay, this one asks good friend calculator. Minus 24. So y is minus 6. Okay? Mm. So you know y is minus 6, right? Therefore, you have your coordinates of r. Okay, you have coordinates of r now. Because the first thing is find the coordinates of R, right? So in exam, once you do this, right, you have to write out this step. You don't leave your answer as like that. You leave your answer like that, confirm will get penalized. You write out this final statement. So what's the coordinates of point R? Zero minus six. Then like that. Leave your answer as well. Okay. Of course, your working don't be like mine, so shortcut. <laughs> also, don't be too long with the. Mm. I think like this is acceptable. They will give you marks on it. Okay, then now I'm going to do this part. Okay, you have your coordinates of R. Hence, find the area of triangle PRO, where O is the origin. Okay, picture is worth a thousand words. In exam, right, let, let's say you're not sure how to do it. Right? Because you're not allowed to use Amex, the shoelace method here. So you have to stick with what you know in Emax. Okay, so P is minus 2, 3, right? Minus 2, 3 is here. This is my own P. R is 0, minus 6. 
is my arm. And origin is here. So they ask you to find area of this triangle. Okay, this is the area of this triangle. By examining this triangle, right, you know that area of this triangle is half base times height, right? Mm. Can you tell me what is the base? PR. The base, if you let PR be the base, right, you would have a tough time to do the question because, RO. because you do not know this, this length. RO. So let RO be the base. So RO, right, length of RO, then you can write out here, length of RO. Or OR, length of OR is six units. Okay, you can tell. Then length of P, uh, length of, okay, let's call this one me. K, length of PK. Negative two. Length of PK is? Two units. Two units. Because the question is say, hence find the area, right? Half times six times two. Yep. It goes to six. Yep. equal to six. Hence find hence find means that's a shortcut. Right? The shortcut is you must need to see you can use length of RO times the X coordinate of P. As in the the absolute value of X coordinate of P, which is two. Mm. Okay, on this question. Okay. 